Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair and this time I will take a uh, very I mean old uh, can Pilar uh, Svita 1.4 and it's a uh, 50 millimeter for the 16 millimeter Bolex cameras or so and uh, it's the H16R uh, X. So this this nice uh, old fellow, uh, which is really really great to use with my um, Fujifilm uh, camera and a um, adapter for it. It's really good. It's a Photo DX uh, C to FX, as you can see here, and it fits really good on it. And then I can just put it on my camera and that's it. But it has a problem. Because um, when uh, you use it, uh, I mean, it's a manual lens, of course. But using the, the focusing ring, it's really extremely stiff. So one really have to take really Very stiff. So one, I really have to use a lot of force uh, to focusing, and it's annoying me. So uh, I was thinking about okay, how to re loop it. I mean, clean the helicoid and re loop it inside here. It's not that hard, but there are some some points that has to be. I mean really think about so I made some okay have been into the lens before to make some measure and uh, also make some notes it will say the the helicoid here on the back which is that block here um, it's um, it should be 11.43 and uh, to get it off well, you have to turn it off um, one almost one turn till till you separate the two helicoids. But more of that, uh, we need some tools to do that. At least a one point two millimeter, or a, maybe a one point five. Come on, focus. Hello. <laughs> Sometimes it really not good. Um, 1.2 millimeter flathead screwdriver, uh, tweezer in some way, a dentist tool to make some scratch in here. Yes, scratch. You're right. And maybe a um, lens tool or compass or whatever you have. This is just an old compass which I have filed and grind the tip so it can be very useful in lens repair and almost. Um, camera repair but let's uh, jump into it the first thing we need to do I mean we could take off the this part here and uh, the lens hood of course <laughs> and set the lens to infinity it will say e really hard to turn um, if, if we are somewhere here, the focusing helicoid is uh, far out. It will say the lens is uh, longest from the sensor itself. So we need to set it on infinity. But as you can see, it's really hard to turn. Um, it's really stiff. Of course, it's all grease. I don't know how old this lens is, but Hmm. I think it's. I have some years ago, when it when it was produced, but it's actually nice, and I got it from a second hand, uh, which cost me fifty Danish krona, which is not much. You probably can find it uh, much much more expensive on eBay or somewhere on the internet. Now, let's get it. 
The first thing first is actually, and that's the important thing, you see, this part here on the back here, this part here will come loose. When we loosen only a few turns, the three screws around here, one, one there, there, and there. Only loosen them a few turns, that's enough. So before doing anything, any movement of it, we will make a scratch here on the back, just a tiny one. It will be much more than enough. So we just, uh, of course I have done it before because I've been into the lens. So just make a scratch here on the part here and also here. Because then you, it's your starting point in some way. And um, that's the where you should end up after you have um, cleaned the, the helicoid and grease the the parts. Now everything is ready to take it apart. I mean uh, when I uh, dug into the lens I set some marks here around one two three just so I have a reference of where where should things sit before I took it apart. So that's easy. There is another thing uh, we could just turn it. You see this is where the the uh, index mark is here and somewhere in my lens somewhere over here inside you probably can see it. I don't know. Uh, somewhere in here there's a little pin that goes into a notch. There are a lot of notch in here uh, so it has to sit the same place when you assemble it again. So now let's jump into it and you pull when you have uh, loosened the three screws you pull it off only that part here it will come out with the thread and uh, don't move anything just a few turns so the screws will come loose not necessary to unscrew them fully so Kind of they have to sit flush with the, um, or stick out a little here uh, on the focusing ring. Now, so everything is ready to take it off gently. And we have to wiggle a little. Sometimes it's good to, if you have an adapter uh, like this one here and just a few turns and then I can really gently pull it off you can see now so there and then I continue to take it more and more open until we actually can see the pin somewhere in here Can sit a little tight. Hmm. So we're almost there. You probably can see it. You can see the little pin in there. Maybe if I point that out, see that pin? this one here and it gives it gets even more out there so don't take it apart yet before we have make a little scratch in here you see the pin here it sits in a, a thread and then you can make a, a little mark you could also use a uh, 
graphite pen and hopefully you can come into the in there and make a mark because I will show you after this when you take it apart we actually have some I mean a lot of thread around here and uh, since I've since I've been into the lens before I also set a little mark here where it should be and it's the same place where the marks sit uh, when it comes off you can see here and the little pin that sticks here that goes into the, the thread uh, is actually this one here so now before moving moving anything not a not move the inside here if you okay I will turn it no way because uh, since I set a mark here uh, where the I mean originally where the infin infinity mark yeah I mean the index mark sits uh, it will also go down here and set another mark here on this ring you probably can see I have done it already and uh, if you look closer I hope you can see it there is also another mark here that's the other mark which is when I let's say unscrew the inner helicoid uh, it will be where they separate from the outer so so let's measure how long is it from the front here until the not this bag but the next it will say something like this so it should be something like depending on where you measure um, and as I wrote down well it will be 1143 so that's important that you set the mark the correct place before you turn the helicoid that's uh, important so now as you can see here when turning the inner um, I mean you can uh, set we have the starting point here it's up here and uh, it cannot go that way no it goes that way out it will say I will turn it the inner uh, will turn uh, counterclockwise as to get it off and since I have the mark here it will say that mark here so I will turn it and move it almost a turn until the almost same place up here my mark is here and then I will um, turn it so this and off it comes in a way there so now it's off and the inner helicoid is separated from the outer helicoid so that's it uh, that's part of the focusing system and as you can see the 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 old grease extremely uh, stiff I mean you can if we have it here I could just let it stay on my on my hand it's really old <laughs> so uh, the next thing is I will clean it with uh, some lighter fluid next thing is the focusing ring itself which is also a little stiff and uh, not really good 
and uh, so I also need to take that apart. It will come out that way, but there is a uh, retaining ring in here, which is the run with the uh, two small holes here and there. And before I do anything, again, um, at infinity, I will set a mark here, and it's actually in line with the index mark. That's important, so you ended up the same place where you begin. So it is with helicoids. Now, to unscrew the retaining ring counterclockwise, uh, and then I will, I can take off the focusing ring itself. So it can be quite stiff. And it was. And uh, it just get a few turns. As I remember, it can only sit in one position. So I think we'll end it up the same place. So it will come loose. Now it's free. Oh, <laughs> and it was free, yeah. And here comes the uh, the outer the outer part here. Oh, here we can see. I, I didn't have this loose. <clears throat> so it was uh, actually sitting. Where should it be? Oh yeah, it sits somewhere here. Mm hmm. Smart. Now, first thing first, the retaining ring. Uh, is now loose and uh, I need to clean that part too uh, all those parts this is not a um, something that can fall out it's actually the the pin uh, the stop uh, I mean the end point where this pin here actually go on to the pin here on <clears throat> is uh, the depth of field scale, which is also a ring, which I discover right now. I can also clean that. It needed a lot. And then we can look into the uh, this amazing um, thing where the where the aperture is just like moving as small dots. When we move the aperture ring, as we can see here, really clever. Now, off with that. And uh, that's all the parts here need to be cleaned. But of course, also the um, this part here, I think, need to be at least clean where the, uh, where the marks sit. Is actually the pin which is uh, let's see this tiny pin that goes actually in here where do we mark oh gosh <laughs> um, I have the pin here I have my mark here on the notch in the notch and I can put it on here. So this is the way it's focusing and uh, cannot be turned it at all. But it's also the way you, if you want to change the the way the lens focusing near end or infinity, you simply just move the ring on, I mean, into another notch here, which could be in some way <clears throat> uh, a solution if you cannot reach infinity. So let's see how it will be. Is there anything I can take off? Mm. There probably is, but um, let's see. No, not at the moment. It's it the next part, but now it's time for 
cleaning the helicoids. So see you soon. Now let's uh, continue. I have just uh, cleaned the helicoids and the focusing ring and all that. So it looks really nice and clean as just like they were new many many years ago. But I also found out because I take a closer look on the aperture uh, ring itself. Uh, is it possible to get it loose? Yeah. There is, if you set it to to fully open, as you can see here, um, there is a little set screw. I mean, it doesn't wear, it doesn't matter where you set it to fully closed or fully open. At least that the screw here sits to one end or the other end that I will show you. Um, so I take a closer look into the the um, I mean under the aperture ring and see what's happened there. So there is a little uh, screw which we need to unscrew fully and with a very fine tweezer you can take out the screw which looks like this here with a very small um, and then it's actually possible to take out the aperture ring itself and underneath where you can see what's happened as I uh, mentioned before uh, because I went to, into it you can see the little uh, piece of brass here it's what it's uh, part of the inside where the aperture plate sits and I think we can move it and then open and close the aperture plates which we can see here uh, hopefully mm, yeah and uh, the small click I mean the cl the there what do you say the boring that uh, makes the click is uh, there is there 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 for all the clicks uh, between um, 1.4 and 22 so the click I mean the steel ball or whatever it is is inside here somewhere it's not part of this video because the aperture is actually working. So I'll just put it back in again and it has to sit correct. The hole are there and it has to go over the hole in the the little brass as you can see here in the middle. So put it over and one have to fight the the little um, the little hole in here so a, a pointy tool uh, could be very handy and it's I think it's, it's great oh. <laughs> and then we can uh, simply add the little the little screw here put it into the hole mm -hmm. And hopefully get it to correct place. Should be all the way up to here. And gently screw it in. And gently tighten it. There's no need to over tighten it because if you do so, well, you probably break the screw head. I mean, the screw head, yeah, kind of. So, and uh, just to see if it, it works again. And it seems like it moved the aperture. So that's pretty good. Now, next thing is we need to set the, um, the index ring, um, put it on. And since there is a notch in here, it has to sit where the little pin is here. 
We can only set in one position as I see it. It will say there. So, so it is. And then we have our fine piece of uh, golden dots in here. And it works. So next thing is the um, the uh, retaining ring that the uh, not yet. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? The focusing ring needs to come on, and it sits that, and it has to go. The pin here, this pin here, has to go all the way up to where it should, where it cannot come any longer. Um, say something like that, as you can see here. So the the pin, this pin here, has to sit on this side of the pin, of the stop, as you can say. So it cannot come any further because of the stop in here, see, there. Now, then it's time to put on the retaining ring. Uh, well, not yet, because I would like to give the uh, focusing ring and special this area just a little um, grease so it will run smooth. And uh, I will try to use again um, the liquid molly LM47 with the MOS2 um, which is actually just like you see here uh, the liquid molly <laughs> which I think is a really good grease for helicoids and uh, think that um, that actually has this to run smooth and the uh, the temperature spectra is actually quite big as we say minus 30 up to plus 130 degree Celsius which is quite good and I have tested to put it in my fridge and my freezer and my and and let it stay in the Sun for how long months and uh, nothing seems to really happen so I think it's a quite good smooth uh, grease for this purpose so we add a little on the the edge here doesn't have to be much. I mean we can always wipe a little away if it's necessary. But um, I think it will be fine enough. Just with a little thin layer. That should be enough. And of course the inside where the uh, retaining ring sits and uh, I can always just go around here take away the rest of it that should be that and um, then I can put the Focusing ring, where did it go? Yeah, <laughs> have it in my hand. Hmm. So, and it has to sit like that. Where's my infinity here? And it has to go under here, I mean, down here, and then you can turn it. Wow, it will be good. And the index plate come loose <laughs> but you see there's just a, a little thin uh, film of grease so up to there and then add the retaining ring and uh, well I could give it a little just a little should be enough 
not enough. I don't know more how much um, how much uh, what do you say is need for that, but I guess it will be not be much. So that's it. And on with the retaining ring. Oh, yes, I did it again. And remember the uh, stop for the infinity has to be on this side. I mean from coming from this side. And then on with this part here. And uh, my uh, lens spinner right here. And we have to catch the thread. Yeah, here we go. And you have to tighten it as long as it can. Wow. <laughs> well, and as you can see, the 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 mark I set in the beginning here, down here, has to be in line with the index mark, which it is. So I think it will be good. Tighten it good. Wow, it runs smooth. So that's fine. Hehe. <laughs> Now the next thing is the um, the helicoid has to come on, and uh, again I will just add a little uh, of the inside of this, um, just enough. It's not much you need to put on. At least as it uh, it will really run smooth which is a good thing you uh, add the grease then you screw it in unscrew it again and then um, you can wipe away rest of it so that should be enough for now <coughs> uh, hopefully then find your mark, which in this case should be up here. I have a mark. I know it's difficult to see, but I have a mark here. And I also add a mark here on the inner helicoid. So they just have to sit there. So the, the two marks Oh, it's so difficult. Shiny. Better see here. See the two marks. This one. And this one over here. Not the other one. But this one and this one has to sit in line. Almost. And then you try to catch the thread. Screw it in. Wow. It runs so good. This is actually a perfect grease for this, as I see. So it runs, <laughs> it runs really smooth. Yeah, you can see something comes out here, but um, I'll just unscrew it again and wipe away uh, if there is too much, which we can see here there is. Um, in this case, I will just use a curtain butt. And wipe away the most of it. So there. And we probably has to. So that's it. Now the next thing is uh, we also need to to put some grease on the uh, on the black uh, yeah I don't know what it's called the 
Oh, with all the threats, <laughs> I really don't know what his name. Uh, but we need to actually add a little grease on the inside here. Uh, so it also runs smooth. Doesn't have to be much. So there, and also on the little pin here. Because if it's too sticky, uh, the focus will also be stiff. So there, I think it will be okay. And uh, yeah, so it is almost. I just need to put the the inner helicoid into the outer helicoid. Catch the thread. Should be somewhere there. And turn one turn until I'm here. And just to check if uh, everything is correct. Um, let's see, it was 11.43 or so. And, uh, well, it's there. As you can see, it's really good. I mean, there is a slightly uh, difference bet uh, between the uh, before I took apart the um, the helicoid um, because the um, I mean I can try to do another thing I can try to catch the next thread um, just to see how is it is it wrong or not which I don't think it is. It will say something there. No, it is. It will not work because the thread will not at all work there. So it has to be the correct one. So there. Put it in. Just have to cache it there. Turn it one turn. And here we are. Now, here we are actually back again uh, until where we begin. And uh, I think it will be enough. Grease. Doesn't have to be much. And uh, so, then I can add my, my, uh, my back here, the mount. Set the lens to infinity, that's important. And since I have my mark here, it should also be the correct uh, here, which goes on to the mark here. And the little pin, which has to go on to the uh, mark here. I know exactly where it should sit, so one can put it on. Probably you can see it. I know it's difficult, but here you can see it has to sit there. And uh, then I can add my my helicoid there. And there the mark should sit. That should be all fine. Then I can tighten the screws. So it will be interesting how good and how smooth it is. Uh, I have no idea, but hopefully it will work. I'm quite happy with this uh, grease. Wow. <laughs> okay. This stuff is really working. I mean, you can you can actually move it with your with your little little finger. Wow. 
Fantastic. This is actually <laughs> very, very good. I mean, again, this uh, LM47 works really fantastic. So that's it. Now I really have a good lens with the um, with the very smooth. Uh, what if I mount it on on this uh, adapter? How could we? Will it then be tighten it good? And wow, <laughs> fantastic! I mean, it's it's just amazing. How good it is so now it works as it should so uh, wow again this uh, LM47 it's a great with which will not at all separate I put it in the freezer high temperature whatever hmm I'm satisfied so, but I hope you can uh, use the info in this uh, video about this old Svita, uh, which is also very good for taking photos. It has a nice bouquet and so on. So, that's all for me. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.